Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for grade 3. We are learning unit 1. Its title is My Family. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation, worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear children, today's lecture 6, we will start reading and understand the text, a part of the story. First three paragraphs we will read today and the last paragraph we will read tomorrow, inshallah. So, before this in English for grade 2, I have already taught you how to predict a story by title and pictures. I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again and we will further practice, we will use pre-reading strategies to predict some words that might occur in text by looking at picture or title. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran Surah Ibrahim verse 41, Our Lord forgive me and my parents and all the believers on the day of judgment. O oh Allah, oh our Lord, forgive me. Yes, my dear children. You see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teaches us everything in Quran. This is a dua. Allah is telling us how should we ask from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should ask forgiveness, forgive me, forgive my parents and all the believers. You see, so whenever we make dua, we should make dua for ourselves, for our parents, our families and for all Muslim ummah. So, beta, this verse tells us how to, how we should make dua and also the importance of family. You see, whenever, whatever you are asking for yourself, you are asking the same for your parents. So, we are going to study about our family in this unit. Its title is My Family. So, you will give a brief introduction about your family and see the picture and tell what lesson this is all about. Look at the title, look at the picture, first tell about your family and tr then try to predict what this lesson is all about. Pause the video, answer these questions to your teacher. Yes, my dear children, are you done with it? So, what you uh, predict about this story? What words, words may occur in this story? So, this is a story about family. There will be definitely discussion about parents sisters, brothers, aunt, uncle and uh, maybe there, there may be more family members they will talk about and what else when we talk about family what else we talk happiness, together, joy, fun and blessings. So, let us see how our prediction is. I am going to start reading from this very first line. All of you listen carefully because after me you have to read it. Okay. I am Usman. I live with my grandparents, parents, uncle, aunt and sister. We live in Mirpur district. My father is the eldest of the three siblings. Yes, my dear children, what does siblings mean? Yes, sibling means brothers and sisters. So, Usman is saying his father is eldest among his three brothers and sisters. My uncle is a working man and my aunt is in college. Together, we do so much fun. There is always laughter, shouting, etc. Yes, my dear children, our guess was quite right. So, whenever we are together, there is fun, there is laughter and shouting we should avoid. 
if there is noise it should be healthy noise like we are talking we are learning then it's fine but for chit chat we should keep our volume low that's good okay the only time when the house is quiet is at night when everyone is asleep the best thing about our family is that we never feel lonely so here i mentioned the the house is quiet what does quiet mean there is silence it means silent so he's saying the best thing about family we don't feel lonely what does feel lonely means when you feel i'm all alone so better it's it's a feeling uh, and ultimately it makes you sad oh there is no one with me that's why alhamdulillah family is a big blessing your brothers your sisters they are around you to help you and it's a huge blessing which does not let you feel lonely or sad okay early in the morning it is my duty and what does duty mean job or responsibility which you have to do so what is duty of usman to search for my grandpa's glasses then my grandfather read newspaper so usman looks for search for grandpa's glasses because he has to read the newspaper he drops us who grandpa drops us to school every day my grandmother tells us lovely stories at night her stories give us a good lesson wow you see how it's fun in morning usman is with grandpa and grandpa reads newspaper and at night usman is with grandmother who tells him stories so i'm stopping my reading over here now it's your turn pause the video read nicely and teach her kindly keep correcting students for their pronunciation for and uh, let every child read the same text yes my dear children are you done with reading good job so it's time for comprehension there are three questions from the text which we just read so teacher kindly take the answer uh, of these questions from students first orally then make them to write so pause the video answer these questions and write the answers in your notebook yes my dear children are you done okay so here is an activity read text in groups and fight find short and long vowel sounds remember i taught you so you'll have to find short and long vowel sounds from the first two paragraphs okay so teachers kindly divide class in groups and let the students find and then you will tell which letter which vowel is sound which is long and how you find it okay so pause the video enjoy this activity yes my dear children are you done with it good job and i hope you now you have explained correctly how did you find short and long vowel sounds very good so here it's time for your homework you will read the text again at home and prepare for dictation make sentences of the following words so here are the words you will make their sentences in your notebook and you will read the text for dictation your teacher will take dictation tomorrow and here i am giving you a worksheet my dear fellow teachers this worksheet lesson plan powerpoint presentation links are given you may click it download it print worksheets and kindly provide printed worksheet to students for practice and students what you are going to do you will read sentence and you will fill in the blank the, from the text we just read okay so what we have learned today we learned to predict the text by looking at the titles and we learned to predict and connect with the text by looking at pictures 
we predicted we practice to predict some words by applying pre-reading strategies so in this way we achieved our slo to use pre-reading strategies to predict some words that might occur in a text by looking at picture and title yes my dear children are we done with it yes and it was interesting to do this so that's it for today tomorrow i'll come again with a very interesting lesson till that time keep learning keep practicing take very good care of yourself and your family this is what we learned today thank you and allah hafiz